today on Art Curious Sharing, which is another channel where Shell and I share a live stream each Thursday at 10.30 Central Time. We were talking about alcohol ink. And what did I choose to do with alcohol ink? Well, I was having my coffee, really, and telling Shell I was just going to sit and watch her, but she wasn't going to go for that today. So, yeah, I ended up making something. So, here we go. I am using an old cardboard box. Uh, alcohol ink is kind of a messy situation, so I'm going to put some papers down and utilize this box to catch my sprays and things. And um, Now, as many of you know, the month of June has been an APC a day challenge. That's artist trading cards. And so I'm using these stencils, which are artist trading card size. They have uh, nine per stencil. And they're just kind of a mix up of all kinds of designs from the designers at Stencil Girl. So I spritzed my paper and I'm using several different types of paper today. I used um, photo paper, I used some UPO, and I also got a new paper, which is called Graphics. Um, so I'm just mopping up a little bit of the extra ink, and that's making a whole nother page of backgrounds. And I'm going to set that stenciled paper aside to dry. And I'm showing some mop-ups from this morning uh, when I had just been cleaning my stencils a little bit. So here are some cards that I made in preparation for today and I'm just showing you know all of the different uh, backgrounds and things that you can get off of these stencils. It's quite a variety and I love how rich the color comes out with the alcohol ink. Um, this technique just works really well and you can prepare a lot of paper in a short period of time. So now I'm using some of the let's see this is the photo paper and you know it, it can be cheap photo paper this is mostly stuff that i got from garage sales or things and i'm showing the uh ink sprays that i created with alcohol um these spray bottles have 91 percent alcohol and um inks added into them to create sprays and then I'm going to add some more colors and I'm using these sponge dauber tools. Uh, I have felt that goes on the tip of them and I'm showing about how I got these free um, containers to hold my uh, inks in but you know the point of it is I like to store my inks upright because they do tend to link a it leak a little bit and so um, I want to make sure that I'm not losing my ink and that it's not getting all crusty so I can't get into it you see I had to use a pair of pliers to get into that one so um, I just continue working I'm mopping up again getting a little bit of the excess off of there I've got another paper created with the excess and now I'm lifting and showing what I can get. Um, that one's got some silver mixative in it, so it's showing up as silver. I have some UPO that's cut down to two and a half by three and a half, which is APC size, so that can be an individual one. And I'm talking about the different colors of the ink, um, how I like to utilize them. Some colors seem to be a little overpowering, and so I want to use them judiciously. Um, and once you start playing with alcohol ink, you'll know what I'm talking about because there are some colors that just, uh, yeah, kind of take your breath away because they're so powerful. So I'm going to um, keep working, keep playing, you know, adding colors to these. And this is a Pam Carriker stencil. Um, I switched it out from the one from. Seth and uh, I think I ended up using about three different 
stencils that were these ATC stencil mix-up ones. So this one's Pam Carriker, and I'm just taking some yellow and painting into the background, and then I'm going to add a little bit of that yellow to the stained glass in here. Um, you can see it's a little bird sitting in front of the stained glass window, which I think is really cute. And um, let's see, this is another stencil. I can't remember exactly who that is. I'll have to put some links down below for you. But um, they're all stencil girl stencils. So if you go to if you go to my uh, store on Amazon, okay, my, my Amazon store has all this kind of stuff in it, and all you have to do is, it's broken out by categories, and, uh, and you can find stencils in one category, and, you know, the other tools that I use in another category, but I've, I've gone and searched and found things for you. Now, this uh, graphics paper, the only place I found it is at Joggles. Um, I know they have a clear graphics at Joann's, um, but I've never seen this white opaque any place other than at Joggles. So I don't know if she got an exclusive on it or what. Now I'm talking about this Pixie Spray, which is from iCraft. Um, if you're looking for a good adhesive for stencils, that's one. Um, I, I like it. It's easy to use, and it's not like all those other ones that are so sticky. I'm also going to use some alcohol ink that has the uh, pearls in it. These are new, you know, in the last year or so. And then I'm talking about the different types of alcohol ink. This is a patina from Jacquard, and um, they come in, you can get metallics and pearls and all of that. So I want to say that if you have not joined us on Art Joy of Sharing, come and join us. I think you'll have fun. We have something new going on each month, and uh, we also have a mood board that we do each month. Uh, you can check that out. And um, we have a bunch of other instructors that are helping us. Um, there's a file that has all kinds of information in it, so you may just want to check out the Facebook group. Or be sure and check out our channel, Art Joy is Sharing if you want to get the longer video because Shell and I both are on the video and um, yeah you're only getting me here on this channel <laughs> so if you want to see what she did today you're going to have to either check out her channel or Art Joy is Sharing and uh, you know join us weekly on our live show if you can so I'm just doing a little bit of pen work on this uh, card, and I'm showing how you can use um, alcohol ink markers. You know, if you want to add color back to these things, even after you uh, put them down, you can come back in with those. You can see that I have a number of backgrounds already created now, and since we're doing ATCs, um, I thought I ought to you know, start finishing some of these out. I didn't, of course, finish all of them because it's only an hour and a half show. But um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping and that sort of thing and uh, finish up a few cards. And that'll be it 
for me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get your alcohol inks out and give them a try because I think they're beautiful. And if you give them a try, use some stencils because they're marvelous and a great tool for making all that textural background. So thanks for coming and watching with me. Thanks for all the nice kind comments that I'm getting. And if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really enjoy that. And uh, mark the little or click the little bell next to subscribe so that you get notifications so that you know when new content comes out. And the very last thing is make sure that you click through and watch some large channel that it really doesn't matter to um, because that seems to be a thing with YouTube. So, uh, yeah, make sure that you get all the way to the end and click on some other channel. Okay, so you can see I'm doing my stamping, I'm doing my finishing, and I will have a few ATCs, and of course, I will certainly have the one for today because we're doing ATCs every day. So if, you're, if you haven't heard about it, uh, the hashtag is ATCAD. That's it.